Hello everyone, my name is Yannick and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, in today's video we have a very special unboxing. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Nike Deep Break type in the Summit White and Black colorway. If you stick around till the end of the video, I also have some on-feet shots so you can see how I style this sneaker. Before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content. I upload lifestyle and fashion videos every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. EST. Now let's get right into the video. The reason I picked up this sneaker is because I think this is personally the best affordable alternative to the Nike Sakai LD Waffle. If you haven't seen that sneaker, honestly, I think it's so cool and unique and the colorways are crazy. My favorite one is obviously the green and orange colorway. That's my holy grail sneaker. However, since those are a special collab and a limited edition sneaker, they're sold out everywhere. If you want to pick up a pair now, you have to buy it on the resale market and the prices are crazy high right now. So yesterday we went to the mall and I saw this sneaker in Foot Locker and I couldn't stop thinking about it. We were walking around the mall and I had to go back to pick it up. We have this special Nike brown box with the Nike type logo up front and some nice details on the side with the hand-drawn Nike logo as well. When we open the box, the first thing we see is the tissue paper, and then this is what the shoe looks like. As I mentioned, I picked it up at Foot Locker, which means it's an easily accessible shoe. Nike currently still has it on stock on the website, and I'm pretty sure Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs, and all those types of stores also should have it on the website. The retail for the sneaker is only $90, which is way cheaper than the resale price for the Nike Sakai models. It comes in four different colorways, but however, this was my favorite one because of the neutral tones. I feel like I could easily match it with a lot of outfits. The shoe is very lightweight and comfortable, and honestly, you don't feel you have anything on your feet while you're wearing it. The outsole also has the classic waffle bottom in this gray colorway. The front toe box is gray suede, and then we have a mesh see-through upper, which means the color of the socks that you're wearing do matter with these sneakers. In the back, we also have some black suede, and on top, some cream suede as well. The sneaker comes with white, classic Nike shoelaces, and the tongue tab has the Nike type logo with N354 written. The Nike swoosh also seems hand-stitched, so it's kind of a little bit rugged to give it a little bit more edgy look. And the heel tab, we also have white leather with the Nike type logo on it as well. And we also have a hint of Nike Vault colorway on the tongue tab. So as I mentioned, these sneakers are a great alternative if you were looking at the Nike Sakai LD Waffle because of the way cheaper price. Since this is just the Nike D Brake model and it's not a mashup of two sneakers as the LD Waffle Sakai's are, it only has one pair of laces, one tongue tab, and only one swoosh. Whereas the Nike Sakai ones has double of each of those. It also doesn't have the iconic heel block that the Nike Sakai's have. The other three colorways for the sneaker is the burgundy and blue, the yellow and cream, and the black and teal. If you want to check out this sneaker, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. Now I'll show you some on-feet shots of how I would personally style this sneaker. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I upload men's lifestyle and fashion videos every Monday and Friday. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you like this sneaker and if you would personally pick it up. Also, let me know what other types of videos you would like to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Friday.